Welcome to week 14 of All 22 Tuesday, a collaboration between First Down Playbook, the Coaching Coordinator Podcast, the Scouting Academy, and FNF Coaches. All right, let's take a look at this play. We have uh, Rams with two tight ends in the game here and uh, a little bit of an influence block by this slot receiver. But, Charlie, a, a really good formation, I think, that provides a lot of balance. I mean, you have a four-man surface to the right here with the tight end in the wing, and you have a, a slot receiver and a split receiver to the other side. So a lot of opportunity to do things here, but a nice job in setting up this, this counter with – that uh, second tight end, that wing coming back across and leading through. Yeah, Keith, this is early in the game uh, with the Rams versus the Patriots, and you know, the Rams are always very creative. And it's not always, uh, you know, we see, we're starting to see some people get back into power football. We, we've seen so much sideline to sideline with the jet sweep and all that, but, but that's just football. Once they start defending sideline to sideline, you start hitting it up inside. Like you said, two tight ends set right here. Uh, a lot of packages that you can run out of this. Uh, you're going to see the counter weak here, but you can run toss crack this way. You can run the split zone, slide naked. A lot of things that you can do as a football coach. Now, the Patriots are in a bare front, kind of trying to balance it up right here. The way that the Rams block it is, is interesting. Uh, you've got better players, obviously, at the NFL level. They, they go ahead and let this tackle uh, cut off that three technique. If you're in high school, you can run this same scheme right here. And the, in, in fact, at the Buffalo Bills, when I coached there, we used to do it this way. We would essentially let the person pull that could. So 63 in this case could block 93, and you could pull your tackle and your wing. And that way it gives you better angles. But, but once again, we'll take a look at it here. The Rams get it done, and uh, this is a good football play for them early in the game. You'll notice they bring, I think that's Cup over here, number 10. Go get a little bluff on 58, the outside backer. And that tight end right there, as he pulls, he just needs to get, keep going, keep going. We're going to see that again here later on another play. You can't – got to assume that that running back's behind you. Get out of that hole. You see the, the effect, and, and I'm not sure if it's because of the bluff here, but you see a lot of these slot receivers, when they get tight like this, just – you know, chipping that guy before they release into their route. He really doesn't even hit him, but takes that step. Um, and, and I don't know if that's what sends that guy so deep into the backfield, but it, he really doesn't even need to be trapped right here because of his depth. There's no doubt that there's something in the Rams game plan because this is early. This is the first drive, but you're exactly right, Keith. I mean, th this guy right here understands that there's been some chipping going on and, uh, he could have almost been passed up. A really good play. And once again, just back to the point that I was making originally, if you don't feel like your tackle can cut off this three eye, or, or excuse me, this three technique, all right, then you can take your guard and block the three technique and pull your tackle and the wing. And that gives you, uh, you know, gives you better angles if you get in a situation where you're coaching and, uh, and need that. And you see, Charlie, I think the, the last thing to point out, that tight front, that, you know, bare front right here. A lot of guys see those four eyes. These guys kind of look like they're more in threes right now. But the, it definitely a front that we're seeing more and more, the high school and college level. And this is definitely a scheme to defeat that front. Absolutely. Be sure to join us each week throughout the NFL season for All 22 Tuesday. All 22 Tuesday is brought to you by First Down Playbook the number one football playbook tool for coaches at all levels of football. Edit any of our 35,000 plays or draw your own from scratch. All plays come with detailed coaching points and player assignments for every position. Keith Grabowski is the host of Coach and Coordinator Podcast. He interviews the most knowledgeable head coaches, coordinators, and position coaches from professional, college, and high school football. Keith and his guests discuss the philosophy, concepts, schemes, and strategies that they have learned throughout their careers. The Scouting Academy teaches you how to scout like a pro. Learn from NFL executives and coaches about the process of scouting from your home on your schedule. The Scouting Academy has 40 alumni with NFL opportunities and over 130 in college football. Friday Night Football Coaches is the platform for high school football coaches. FNF Coaches delivers content to the high school football coaching community through its website, print magazine, and other digital platforms.
Links to all websites can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for joining us for this week's All 22 Tuesday, and we will see you next week.